The simple utensils we'd find in a country kitchen make up the visual vocabulary that William Scott turned to throughout his long career. When you think William Scott, you automatically think still life. The early works, like this one painted in 1946, were fairly realistic. But even in the decades that followed, when Scott moved into a much more abstract phase, when he was under the influence of abstract expressionism, he still managed to hold on to vestiges of a rural kitchen. In 1946, while Europe was in turmoil after the war, Scott settled his family in a small cottage in Somerset. While his career was taking off, and around that time he'd been taken on by a prestigious London gallery, his paintings still reflected that unpretentious Northern Irish austerity of his childhood in Enniskillen. Paintings like this one have an honesty, a, a, a real authenticity that grew directly from his rural roots. One of the things I find most interesting about Scott is that push and pull between representation on the one hand and abstraction on the other. Looking at this painting, it's a rather straightforward still life, an isolated vignette from a simple kitchen. But what elevates Scott is the abstract way of thinking that underpins all his work. He arranges his compositions with such subtlety and elegance that you hardly notice what he's done. Here, the solid block of a table anchors that composition, while strong diagonals set the picture in motion. Scott's created visual tension by making objects gravitate around a central point, while at the same time, he draws our eyes away from it. We can see that with the fruit and the edges of the cloth pulling in opposite directions. The placement of every single thing has been carefully orchestrated to energize the composition. How can I put it to unstill the still life? The main event is that clever visual dialogue between the handle of the skillet and the counter movement of the fork handle. This is what gives this painting that indefinable frisson and makes it so satisfying to look at.